Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palani Pramanikam. In this video, we're going to talk about the neocovirus, what it is about. It is creating so much panic in social media. The electric car Neo is creating so much panic in the stock market. And this new virus Neoco is causing so much panic in the fish market called social media. Let's see what to focus and what not to. Let's dive deep into it. So what is this Neoco virus? It is a part of the coronavirus family. Coronavirus family head is like our Vanathai Pola Vijayakan who welcomes everybody by singing a song. Engal Vittil Yella Nalum Karthigai And Covid says oh oh oh. So coronavirus family has three major generations. 2002 it came as SARS virus. 2012 it came as MERS virus. And 2020 it came as Covid virus. It's almost like coronavirus is right its car over us and renewing its driving license every 10 years. So now that coronavirus has been going on for the last two years, everybody is talking about this. All these scientists are actually doing more research in basic science, looking at the microscopes and then see and try to learn more about this coronavirus, right? So all these kinds of news are going to pop up like we are going to find a new virus called Neocovirus. Let's see how they found this one out. So group of scientists from Wuhan University, the name Wuhan, Beraketa so anything that come out of that city creates is creating a big panic so what they did was those scientists figured out a virus called neocovirus which is a variant of a coronavirus family and not with this COVID-19 so they found out that the features of this virus was similar to the MERS virus Middle Eastern Respiratory Virus which created a very big pandemic in 2012 mainly infecting camels and they found out that this can infect bats as well Bottom line, they did not see even a single infection in humans and they themselves are writing in the paper that it is less likely to infect humans unless if any changes happens in the future that they can't even predict. So what do scientists do? Once they find out a new thing, they write a big paper and submit to like famous journals so that other scientists can review the same thing and then find out that, okay, you know what? What you guys are saying is right. Let's tell this to people, right? So, but this article, was just published in a non-peer-reviewed journal and that was not even reviewed by any scientist at all. There are so many flaws in this study. I just wanted to list one by one. The biggest flaw is number one, it has not been confirmed. It has not been approved. And before releasing into any social media, it has to be approved by a group of scientists or at least reviewed by a journal and at least get a publication out of it. Nothing has happened. It is just a report. This is like my friend Saranga Kumar's useless final year project, which is in the paperweight store. Now coming in as breaking news with the project title Saravanakron. And number two, scientists themselves are saying that there is no evidence that this will infect humans at the current form whatsoever. And they don't even know whether they will infect humans in future. All they are saying is there is a possible mutation in the future. If this happens, then it might become a big deal. It is always good to know all the things, but it is creating a lot of panic unnecessarily. This is such a remote possibility that even Tenali Kamal will also not have fear about it. Omicron enrol biome, Delta enrol biome, Neocov enrol, or So I can't stand social media these days because this kind of research article is not even reported or not even discussed about in scientific community. And all of a sudden they see this small article and then just make it a big deal like one in three people will die. They this has been completely blown out of proportion. All these news outlets which is spreading this kind of information is more deadlier than the actual coronavirus per se. We are at a point that we need to quarantine these kind of news outlets. It's high time that social media takes some kind of responsibility because we doctors are spending time by treating patients and social media is creating patients by this unnecessary anxiety. There is no consequence to whatever they do. They can just do whatever they want and they can get away with it. I think all these social media news outlets are single. If they got married, they cannot do this. So I'm proposing a marriage. So all these news channels spreading false information should be married to law. When they are spreading false misinformation, it is like they are bowling a 
no ball and we should be given a free hit so this is not the first time it has happened and this is not going to be the last time it is going to happen so instead of focusing on these kind of news we can focus on our health to prevent any kind of diseases by increasing our immunity by decreasing our belly fat that we have been focusing on multiple research has proven that if you decrease the inches in your belly fat your immunity increase two times more if your belly looks like planet earth it is easier for the aliens to invest so please follow my time restricted feeding until then we will try to wrap up all these covid videos soon and then focus on my interest of decreasing the belly fat there is a challenge that is coming up in the next video as well stay tuned for that we can do this together stay safe get vaccinated one belly at a time it is absolutely important see you bye, -bye.